Hey guys, and welcome to the start of my Let's Play for The Sims 4 Snowy Escape. I finally have my Sims game working again. Sims 4, finally, it opened. We're, we're finally here doing this. I am so excited. Don't question why my Sims have university hats on. Um, yeah, this is just something to do with the life decider. To give them university degrees, don't worry about it. They, they basically just took their university photos which are over there, and they don't have hats on because I deleted the hat versions in hope that their hats would leave. But just pretend they don't. Just They're reliving their youth, okay? <laughs> but anyway, so Snowy Escape came out last week, and I've been pro having problems all week with The Sims 4 where it just wouldn't open, but I'm finally happy that I can open my game. Now, you can tell we are currently not in Mount Komarebi. That is because um, we're going to be taking a vacation there very shortly. So here is one of the households we'll be playing with. This is Kaito. He came from Mount Komarebi. He grew up there. That's where his family live. He came over to study in university. He went to the University of Brightchester to study language and literature. And he is a fashion photographer. So he didn't really use his degree at all. But, you know, he just he followed his heart and he had really good support from his mom and his sister to pursue language and literature at uni, but all along the way he joined a photography group and he is now a fashion photographer. So that is why his and Sean's bedroom is a makeshift f photography studio with a Murphy bed. You know, you're just utilizing the packs to their fullest. This is Sean Brady. He is Kaito's husband. He is in the culinary career. He is the chef at level six. He went to university twice. He has two degrees. He has a art history degree and a culinary arts degree. This He did the art history degree when he met Kaito. And they were just friends then. And then a few, we'll say a few years ago, he went back to school. He went to the Foxbury Institute and did a culinary arts degree to f which is something he found he really enjoyed and then this is Alexa sorry if I've just set anyone's Alexa's off I apologize um I randomized her name and this is that's the name she, that I was given and I liked it so this is Sean's daughter and Kaito is her stepdad they didn't adopt her together Sean was married before, and this is the child that came from that, and we'll be meeting her mother very soon, because she lived in Mount Komarebi, but Sean doesn't know that. But basically, they are going to be taking a vacation to Mount Komarebi so that Kaito can visit his family that he hasn't seen in a while. Uh, he does have a sister called Kyoko and a mother called Chiyoko, they live in Mount Komarebi. Where are they? In relationships panel, that would be good. So there is Chiyoko, her grandmother, and Kyoko, her aunt. Oh, and they also have a cat called Sho. These two actually have some sentiments towards each other. Where, here it is. They, have, they are deeply in love and deeply connected. And you could have one-way relationships now, which is amazing. Anyway, it's getting on a bit. They're, they're just playing Party Frenzy. Um, but anyway, this is the apartment I built for them. I really enjoyed it. You know, they just live in the, in the Spice Market district of San Maestrino. So, you know, this is just a town we've seen many a time. Oh my god, it's Clara Burgesson. Hello. But we are going to be taking a vacation. Which is something that has been added to the base game, which is lovely. Yep, let's just go with them. So let's stop. Hopefully move these hats soon. <laughs> Because I can't be dealing with them just having university hats. But anyway, you can see all of the worlds now that have vacation lots in. If you're wondering why these uh, Granite Falls, Self Dorado and Batu are registered as vacate or rental or residential worlds, it's because I made them that way. There's a mod that I downloaded that made these three residential. Also Willow Creek. Oh, this I was demonstrating. Okay. But, you know, you can see... This is one thing I love about 
the new vacations is that you can see what each world offers. I have a whole list of them on my Twitter if you want to go see that. But obviously we are going to go to Mount Komorebi. So here we are in Kiyomatsu or in Yukimatsu. To get something, you can purchase a variety of supplies to enrich your vacation experience from the phone or mailbox. But here is this lot, and I must say it is a beautiful lot. It's two stories, and it utilizes all of, like, Snowy Escape features, such as the new platforms. Oh, and there's even a Katatsu table. Oh, I love that. I don't know, is it too late to go sledding? But anyway, here is... Oh, look at it, it's just so beautiful. This is where the Festival of Lights happen, I think. Or the Festival of Snow. I'm not actually sure which one happens here, but this is a festival ground. And if you, again, didn't know, there are three new festivals with this expansion. There is the Festival of Youth, the Festival of Light, and the Festival of Snow. And they all happen within Mount Komarebi. Oh, he's getting a phone call. Oh, life has decided that we didn't get along. Thank you, Yasmin Tinker. <laughs> But anyway, here are the slopes. Obviously, you take a cable car up, but unfortunately, you don't actually... Oh, hello. You don't actually ride in them. It's just... It's like the elevators in City Living. You just get teleported to the destination. I mean, it's 9pm. Please go to bed. We want to be up bright and early so we can go visit our family tomorrow. Okay, so Kaito has woken up and he really needs to pee. Please go pee before you... Why can't he pee? Uh... Okay, that's a bug. Apparently he can't use the toilets on vacation, that's lovely. I'll just fill that for you. Oh my god, they're, they both- they, they all really need to pee, okay. I really do like just listening to the ambience of the mountain though, you can just hear the wind and it's just... It's so serene. Oh, there's a sim down here, are you gonna go... This is- oh, this is one of the pre-made sims, this- oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna butcher her name, so I'm sorry. Uh, Sachiko... Nishidake. She is... She lives in Senpamachi, I believe. But I'm gonna go have him go buy a semi capsule. They are 50 simoleons. They're quite expensive. But these are the new collectible in Snowy Escape. They are really cute. They're like little... Just, you know, vending machine toys that you get. And they're just really cute. And there's like hot food and uh, bits and bobs. But... Little semi capsules. Oh, I hope it doesn't get stuck because the vending machine is a new death. Oh, the. Okay, we got a semi capsule. Let's see. So here it is. Common semi capsule. Open it. And we got a print, a gold Princess Cordelia. Oh wow. Also, I forgot to <laughs> say about the aspirations, but uh, Sean has. The Mount Komorebi Sightseer Aspiration. Just because I thought, you know, they're on vacation and Sean didn't grow up here. So. Why not? So he wants to eat food at the Festival of Light or Snow or Youth and take this uh, selfie with the Mount Komorebi mascot. So we've just done this one. You know what? Purchase another one. Why not? Let's gamble our money away. Oh, it got stuck. Oh god, okay. We can shake it. Oh, and you just got a new moodlet. Ate my money. Sean pays, Sean gets an item. That's how it's supposed to work. But Mr. Vending Machine... That's how it's supposed to work, Mr. Vending Machine. That's how it's supposed to work. Nothing's more frustrating than losing some aliens with nothing in return. Um, so hopefully Sean doesn't die. Because... The vending machines can crush things. Oh, did we still not get it? Oh, he is pissed. He is very pressed. Uh, vending machine item is still stuck. After pouring all of Sean's might into a passionate shaking attempt, the vending machine stands victorious. It says, today you shall not have your items. Well, that is if uh, vending machines could talk. Waste of time. First, it took Sean's money. Then it didn't give him the item. Now it denies him justice even after a good shake the nerve. Oh God, this could lead to Sean's death. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me save this right now. Let me save that because Jesus Christ, I do not have to need him getting crushed. No, jo Sean. Oh my God, <laughs> my dude. 
Don't, oh, don't go snowboarding. Okay, we just didn't get our item at all. That sucks. Oh, no, we can shake it again. <laughs> Battered and bruised from being squashed by a vending machine. Out, Sean got hurt badly uh, recently and is feeling a bit sorry for themselves. Sean, just get your vending machine item, please. This is not going well for him. My Sean, please, get the item. Yes! He finally received it. Vending machine items received. Aha, Sean has proven victorious against his foe. The stingy vending machine. The formerly stuck items can now be found in his inventory. Maybe now the vending machine can sit and think about what it did. Okay, let's open the semi capsule. And we got Father Winter. All that for a common... Oh, it's actually a three star. Oh, and he's browsing the vending machine. So let's purchase hot food and drinks, actually. What are you... You just got a hot dog. Okay. That's cool. Oh, is this an another one of the Sims? So this is Naoki Ito. He's a fa he's ce as a celebrity apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, is this another sim? Oh, that's just a randomly generated sim. I haven't seen. Oh, who's this? Judith Ward. She just completely fell. The stupid wench. Oh, look. Here's a sim doing some skiing. Who is this? Oh, this is Jenna. <gasps> Oh no, if you're wondering, okay. I guess it's time I reveal it. Jenna, Sean's ex-wife. This is Alexa's mother. And they are both very resentful towards each other. So it appears that he's about to be, he's about to see her and realize that this is where she lives. I can't believe Judith Ward just fell over there. That's kind of really funny. But see, you see a lot of Sims you know, just going about. Oh, did she fall over too? Oh, this is Shigeru Nishidake. This is um, that other Sim's husband. Hello. They have a teen. They have a teen granddaughter that they're raising. But here is Jenna. Oh, she's just... Is she coming towards us? <gasps> oh, she might be. She... Oh, no. Oh, he's about to see her. Oh, he's about to be... He's about to realise... Should we go speak to her? Should... You know what? Let's just go speak to her. Should we be friendly? Let's just kind of... Talk about cooking. Maybe he's like a TV chef or something now. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is all going down. This is why I love the sentiments. Hey, I heard you became friends with Kyoko. That's nice. Okay. Here, here we are. Oh, she's ang oh she's tense. Why is she tense? Oh, probably because she's with us. Oh look, there's Nancy Langrab. Nancy's on vacation. Everyone's here. I'm assuming she's probably tense from being around us. She's probably like, "Why are you here?" Oh, I thought I got away from you. Don't just put the hot dog on the floor. Jesus Christ. Oh, why is he happy? Oh, pretty, pretty taste. Oh, pretty tasty, I mean. Okay, stop talking to her. Please, just... Maybe that's just made him very pissed. He was like, oh, great, she lives here. We've chosen to come on vacation, and this is where my ex-wife lives. Oh my god, Charlotte, she just fell on her ass. Um, go skiing, don't go skiing. Get, li get in line at Bunny Slope. No. Okay, we are going to head over to Wakaba to visit our family. Okay. Let's get going. So they live down here. So let's go with them. Okay. So here we are. This is where they live. This is a house I built. The speed build will be coming out very soon. Also, I forgot to say, if you want to download this family and this house, they are all up on my gallery. 
Um, let me do that again once I've connected. So if you wanted, also I haven't said, also I forgot to say, but if you want to download this family with them included and this house and also the rock climbing gym, they pop up on my gallery here. See, there they are. So that's George underscore Sinzo one. You can download all these snow escape things that I've done and I'm planning to do more in the future, but let's go knock on the door. Oh, Simon Silver sweater. No, I don't want to go to Black Spire Outpost. We're currently on vacation. Here we are. So this is the house. So let's all go inside. So here is Chiyoko, or Kyoko and Chiyoko. Um, oh! And also, they use the no shoes, al or the no shoes allowed inside. Actually, no, they have the wear slippers inside. And there we go, the Sims are wearing slippers. This is actually a really cool feature. And you must remember to <laughs> make sure to put socks on your Sims. Actually, with slippers, you don't need them. But it's not just the sign, actually. Any shoe rack from the base game can be used in the same way. So anyway, let's have him do a... Uh, uh, so let's have Kaito give his mum a loving hug. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, it's just to say, hello. Oh. I haven't seen each other in a while. Show appreciation to the host. Also, again, forgetting, Kaito has the proper trait. This is new with Snowy Escape. And also, Alexa has the adventurous trait, which is also new. Oh, she's single and loving it. Yeah, I forgot. I gave them some lifestyle. Which is another new thing with Snowy Escape, with the lifestyles. We have we have currently not uh, started progress or an on any. But they have a few. They have some lifestyles. Oh my god. Alexa, stop. Especially on the tatami mat. What are you doing? Child. This bitch. <laughs> she honestly thought... I can't- I cannot believe- Oh, hello, little show. Also, the cat sleeping on the kotatsu tables. That is so cute. But I do love this little house. We have, they have a, she has this little tea room where she has various types of tea and just very nice. This is the house that Kaito would have grown up in somehow. I'm sure that was probably his room that they- turned into a tea room. We'll pretend. <laughs> oh, by show. Oh, there's a little cat tree up here. This is where the show's coming to be. Let's go, let's, let's see show on the cat tree. Oh, he's scratching it. Oh, he's sleeping next to it. Show. I don't actually remember if it's a he or a she. Can we check? Oh, oh no, it is he is male. There we go. So we can now see the gender of pets, which is nice. Oh my god, child, I swear to god. <laughs> Stop it. First on the time and now outside. You're really irresponsible. So anyway, this is the uh, Wakaba neighborhood. We will come to know this very well because obviously we'll be playing with this household too. Oh, there's a train. Where's the train? Oh, there it is. Yeah, the whole train is kind of like a bit of a catfish in the trailer, really, because it was like this whole thing. And now it, it, it you can't even use it. So, oh, well. I mean, you can still click on, like, the road to travel. Where is there even a road that you can click on? Oh, but you can swim in this lake, or uh, in this lake over here. This is swimmable, which I hope they do more of. And I hope they go back with previous worlds and add more swimmable areas. Like, I would love to be able to swim in Granite Falls and Selva Dorada. That would make a lot of sense. Um, 
But yeah, I'm just waiting to see if a certain Yamachan shows up. Oh, this, I believe you, oh, you can see festival schedule and check daily wildlife report. This is where you can see about bugs because there are bugs now in the expansion. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to our rental. Let's go home. Why are we getting so much? Why are we getting money? Sean has gained a thousand followers. Oh, okay. We're on the road to fame. That's lovely. I mean, he is a famous chef. Okay, no, go home. Go home. We've come to visit our family. Now we're going to go home. So here we are back at our rental. Uh, but I'm going to end the part here, though. We haven't done any of the, you know, snow activities yet. This was just, you know, setting up the Let's Play. And I've just been dying to play this so much and just share with you my sims and stuff. When we come back, we'll be playing with Kyoko and Chiyoko in their house and exploring them. We'll probably have, have Kyoko start on her journey to the top of the mountain. It's kind of like journey to the center of the earth, but instead it's journey to the summit of Mount Kamarebi, um, which I am looking forward to uh, because you can actually build on the lot up there and... I really want to make a special lot up there for her and her best friend. Anyway, though, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the part. Subscribing would help me out. I'm really close to 600 subscribers and I want to get there. <laughs> that way it would be nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, look forward to the next part. I'm probably going to record it straight after this because I'm just enjoying this so much. Like, right now, this part is 41 minutes. I've been recording this for 41 minutes. I don't know how long it's going to be not recorded, but this is the most enjoyment I've had recording a Sims 4 series in a while because after a... After, I, I feel with the Sims 4 after a while, I tend to just get bored, which you well, probably you could tell with Eco Lifestyle and Caliente Sisters because I just didn't record them for ages. <laughs> Um, but I don't think Snowy Escape's going to go on for that long because really there isn't much that I want to do. I just want to explore the pack and that's pretty much it. Um, and outside of the stuff in the, the, the new stuff in the pack, it's just playing The Sims 4. So yeah, I don't think it's going to go on for very long, but it'll go on for like eight parts. So Without further ado, I am going to go now, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.